Howdy, y'all. This is Tim O'Keefe. Going wild, running wild. I had uh, some stuff I wanted to show you. I've been to this is the video that I picked back up from early this morning at uh, 5 o'clock in the hour of 5. I've been doing me some bushcraft projects. I'm fishing to uh, uh, find me some arrows. I made me a bow. Got a pretty good draw to it. Really good. And I also got me a, a arrow sack quiver. I'll give you a better close to this. Look at it. Better close look up. You see this tree here behind me? You see how there's bark right here? And this right here is just all plain wood. Well, what I'm wearing on my back is a primitive arrow sack quiver. And it can also be used as a bag. I took my machete and came out here early this morning in a tree like this. This is one of those trees that is in between maple and has, it's got like, it's between maple and oak. It's really green, really wet, kind of cold. Well, I took the outer layer of the tree the bark is so strong, you can use it for cordage, you can use it like a rope, and you can use it to make bags with. And I was also going to tell you, you can also use, if you're building stuff like a hut, or some sort of a primitive technology survival shelter, if you, once you had your shelter built and your roof built, if you cut stuff like this down off the tree, it's also rainproof. I'm talking about the bark. See, the way you cut it, it's like this. Now, I'm not cutting the bark off. I'm just going to show you how I've done it. You have to know how the tree is. The way you work around a tree is... You start right here in the center, you make you a line like that, up the tree, like, like that, like, and keep your pattern straight, and then you whack around it, on the bottom, and on the top, and once you get that line split open, you take it and pry it open, that's what you do. That was just an example of how I got it down, and that's how I did it. And this stuff is also rainproof. Just the bark will make good roofing for like a jungle hut, stuff like that. Now, this is my first time making a arrow quiver. I'm going to get down there closer to my camera so you can get a better look at it. This is made out of nothing but bark. See, that's a strap. See, that's the hole on the inside of it so I can carry stuff in it. This is the log. See, it looks like a log. That's the bark of that tree that I cut down. That I cut off of that tree. See the tree behind me? You see how there's bark and there's not bark there? But that's what I made my quiver out of as you saw me wear it on my back I made that to carry arrows and I'm fixing to make some arrows for my bow this is I'm out here in the wilderness out here in the middle of nowhere I'm out of civilization I'm out here you know having a good time trying to make me some weapons you know, bushcraft projects. 
I finally got me a bow. This is the second stick I had to whack down. I went through about like four or five different sticks. They all snapped on me. But I finally found the right stick. It took me all day just to make a bow. And it took me about 30 minutes to make this. And how, how to figure out how to do it. I finally figured out how to do it. But this right here is primitive technology. And this bark is so strong. That's my straps. As you saw me holding it on my back. I got two of them. And this also can be used as a perimeter backpack. See? It holds up like a bag. That's, it's what you call a perimeter bag. But I'm, I'm using, my purpose is, is for the quiver to carry my arrows in. Well, I'll see you on the next episode of Camo Key.